Right, well, welcome to a new video. In this video, I will be talking about this stick here. I will be talking about how it's got similarities to the armor and weapons you get in Vinland. Which I can't travel to any of that right now. I will also talk about... I will know. Oh, you have to have five pieces of divine armor on to take zero fall damage. And I will include a little cl clip of me taking damage from Ravensport. Um, I might include the clips that I've just had here, which is. Quite funny, not gonna lie. Um, no, I won't. Um, and then I will also tell you how it, how it kind of connects to Assassin's Creed Odyssey as well. And I thought I'd put as I was cut off in that other video, I was I was saying. I thought I'd put this. It probably cut off because I took a screenshot, but that's, that's kind of no either there. But I put this outfit on for another video, which I have planned. But for now, enjoy this video. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Right, well, in this video, anyway, I'm going to show you where the wooden stick is and show you that it's got decent stats because, like, these are max upgraded 165, 163. Like, you know, like, stun's pretty decent, speed's pretty decent, weight's pretty weight's pretty decent for these because like they're quite light but where I am right now there's a wooden stick near me um but my root advice would be kind of if if you go to this shelter the job shelter this is a dawn of Ragnarok DLC by the way where you get this from and you head to this uh, viewpoint across from this red settlement thing I you don't need to do this in the viewpoint but I've just done I think it's to get one of the runes that you need for let me show you we get like cursed armor, so like th that one, Haridma's blessed cloak. You need to place the. You need to place. Oh no! Give me a second. You need to place that that rune on it there, and that's kind of the only thing those runes are for. And there's like five of them that you have to find in the world and if you it's called Motsignia's Clarity. Nullify any objects cursed 
while the room remains in contact. And it's already all there. Um, so that's what you get from that. Um, so again, you've sort of got like two bridges, like one sort of like mini broad bridge in between. So to sort of cut this video now in a way you find this bench here as you go across the bridge and as you can see it says take wooden stick so retrieve the so it can't be upgraded that's the only little thing about it that kind of bothers me well look at the stats the stun's already higher. Look at it. These max up. Wait, well, no, it's not. Never mind. I thought it were. I thought the stun were 160, 163 on the other weapon, but. Just look at those base stats. Attack 145, speed 69, stun 193. Whatever the crit is. Because I don't get what the pre, pre, PRE means. 129 and wait. Five, and it's because it says increase stun at night. So this is like one of the best weapons in the game because it's it's it sort of lives in like when you head to um Vinland, Vinland, there's armor over there that you obtain and that can't be upgraded same as this stick here can't be upgraded so like it's sort of like an interesting like you got to villain that will carry over with you but like i said de decent weapon and like i said that's where you obtain it across this bridge here so you've got the viewpoint just there and you've got the bridge just here worth worth seeking it out right well in the previous video just before this one I showed you how to get this stick here Give me a moment. And I told you that it stats are good, but it cannot be upgraded. And then I also told you about the armor that you get when you visit Vinland, which you have to make progress in Ravensport. I think you have to speak to Eiffel about it. And you go after Gorm over in Vinland. But I've done everything in Vinland, but this armor that I've got on here is only obtainable in Vinland. And if you look, I've completed everything. That's probably just stone stack. Yeah, wait, just just a stone stack that I did, you know. But if I show you the inventory, all of these weapons cannot be upgraded. Luke can't be upgraded. Can't be upgraded. So these stick from Dawn of Ragnarok is that in common with these because every, every other kind of weapon which you, which I have to never return back to England but that's fine I could travel anywhere I could travel to Norway Frankia 
Ireland or England, it doesn't really matter. I could even head back to England and head to like... I'm scared! So, like I said, everything else can be, your weapons level can be upgraded. And if I show you like stuff like this, these can be upgraded from this level, but the stick you cannot upgrade. So I thought I'd include that to show you the... That the stick can't be upgraded, and the armor that you obtain in Vinland whilst you go after Gorm also can't be upgraded. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh shit. <laughs> yeah, like civilian casualties was the thing that I was worried about. Don't be shy. Press your fist against the champion. Perhaps a babe would be more suited to your strength. Don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, drop kick, Granny. You have fought all age and no one has ever done that before. Drink. I will show you why I am the brother to John Slomus. They call me Juan Thomas. Why do you not face me? Right, shut up. It's me, John Slomers. Oh! <laughs> I have to do it. Don't do it. Oh shit! No! I should be fine. I should be fine. Yeah. Don't do it, dog, please. Fall apart. <laughs> Lucky. Oh yeah, you want your fight service sister and stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> uh, anyway. I don't know if he give, I don't know if he give it a coins, I don't know if it said it. It's fine. What what are you doing? What are you doing? Of course that falls off before I wanted it to, but that's fine. Ah, I kind of need to... Yeah, I kind of need to force my hand a little here. Right, you on time? Fly! You on time! Fucking hell. Stop. Run! Run, hobby! Run, you moron. Move, you bastard! Get right! Oh! A few moments later. Now another thing that this game will also show you is 
in the corner here whilst you're in the DLC for Dawn of Ragnarok. Which, if I show you, owned. Uh, is it under this or is it under something else? I mean, that's something else in it. Uh, oh no, no, no. Add ons, that's it. Hold on, give me a minute. There, Dawn of Ragnarok. So, like I said, in the once you've got your armor up to divine, or if you have other bits of armor that are upgraded to divine, like stuff that you've purchased from like a store or from reader, you will see that it says in the in the right, right about here, that five pieces of divine divine armor cut off. Um, you taking no damage, right, it cuts off that. So, I'm in Raven's Fort, so I'm back in the normal world, and as you can see, I've just took damage. Even if it's very minor, I've just took damage. So, we will head over to Volker, just, just briefly. Which, in a way, the taking no damage is a nod to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Because in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, when you reach level 20, whether you play through as Alexius or Cassandra, you don't take damage from great heights anymore. Um, if you've played Assassin's Creed games since 2007, you know for a fact that taking damage is a pain in the butt. Now I think it loaded me back into where I last were, which is pretty decent. Now let's see, can I... Can I just briefly fast travel? Will it let me do it? Yeah, right. I don't know how high this is, but I'll let it load in. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, right. <laughs> uh, why? I, I, I jumped away from that. Right, hold on, hold on. I've got an idea. Right, well anyway, it didn't quite go to plan in the previous clip before this because I ended up leaping into the hay bale. So I kind of thought, to kind of show you about fall damage, I will show you the inventory page first. Like I said there, Divine Landing fall damage in Swartle Theme is disabled as long as you have five pieces of Divine Quality Armour equipped. So in other words, I don't need to have the same set, I could put five different pieces on, like I've just said. So basically, I just fast travel to here, and then I put a marker here, and I'm heading on top of this. I've already been before and got the... You get doors, Ember of Mush behind from on top of these things, and there's so many of them. So, I will now use my... Raven ability. And I'll try and keep make this as quick as possible because that upward has just grown directly underneath and, and not that water. Right, here we go. Now you might see enemies triggered because there's use of resistance up here as you can see there's enemies but they will attack on sight. so I will just quickly land there 
Now they'll probably be triggered, but... And then let's just... I know, watch. Now if this were in... I would swat up him. I would instantly die there. Like I said, because I've got the five divine pieces of armor on. I don't take damage. Which, like I said, that's sort of a nod to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. When you reach level 20, you didn't take damage anymore from great heights that in the past or previous games would kill you straight up. A few moments later. Oh, you've got... Why? Why now? A few moments later... What you... Folks, why? It was at this moment he knew. He messed up. Fucking idiot. Right, well, anyway, I'm playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So, as you can see, the menu is different. This is all for my ship, which is the address here, I think. I could be wrong about that. And you can see the abilities are different. Um, is it? Does it say that one? Yeah, there's one on. Leave it. Falling does not cause damage. While falling, press R2 to smash to the ground and stun enemies. So, yes, when you reach level 20, that upgrades. So, where it says fall does not cause damage. So, I have decided to. Probably one of the first viewpoints you'll do in the game, synchronization points, whatever you want to call it, is the Lightning of Zeus. And I will try to avoid that, hay, that grass hay bale, we'll stick with calling it hay bale, just to show you. No damage. And we will head back down. No damage. So as you can see, I've just fallen from a significant height and took no damage from it. So that's why I'd include a clip from Assassin's Creed Odyssey to sort of show you that you taking no damage in Swartle theme in Assassin's Creed Valhalla where you need five pieces of your armor to be divine is a nod to this game where when you reach level 20 as you well rank 20 whatever you want to call it level i'll say level 20 because in valhalla it's power level but in this one it's like level and it only goes up to 99 as you can see in the top right i am level 90 so i am 70 levels above taking no damage so Again, I just thought I'd include this little clip as well. A few moments later. Fall apart. <laughs> Laggy. Oh yeah, you want your fight service sister and stuff, you know what I mean? Unlucky. <laughs> uh, anyway, I don't know if he give, I don't know if he give it a coin. I don't know if it said it. It's fine. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Get right. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, like civilian casualties was something that I was worried about. <laughs> yeah, it's about to get <laughs> <laughs> I will show you why I am the brother to John Swamis. They call me Juan Thomas. <laughs> I have to do it. Don't do it. Thank you. No. I should be fine. I should be fine. Eat. Do it now, please. Yeah! What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit.